Hey guys, Heyman636 or seven here. Welcome to part 13 of my rehydrated walkthrough. So last time we finished Goo Lagoon. And now this time we get to face Robot Sandy. Here we go. Jelly. I remember as a kid, I always thought he used to say eyes of Joey. You must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. <laughs> I like how you can actually see audience members in this game. Because I remember the original, it was just literally lights. And his challenger. A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Don't be a bitch. Yeah, this go around, unlike the original, it actually gives you instructions on how to beat her, which I don't fucking like. But literally, all she does is a ground pound, and then, ow. Like, at least, and then she'll try to smash you with her ass, and then you stop. So it's a very simple boss fight. And an boom! Will he get the drop and you take her on in different sections. Oh, there goes that. I just now realized one of those banners was like Sandy in a uh, Survival of the Idiots when she went aggro on SpongeBob and Patrick, and she has Patrick's head in her hand. I just now realized that. Ah! Look! Look! Oh shit! But yeah, in this go around, she had the clothesline move. Like Give me the head. No, not that here. kind of head. No. Oh my god. Yeet. What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Look, these people want gruesome shit to happen to Patrick. I kind of do too. And I just a little detail they added is to tell how far. Or how much health she has, like outside the health bar. Her tail progressively gets more destroyed. Nice flying thing move by Patrick. No, you don't. Yeah, this boss fight is going real quick. I actually think I might get it done in one fucking go. Yeet! Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, Bitch. Oh, I just saw Muscle Bob. Yep, there's the Muscle Bob from um. I believe that was the fry cook game. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh yeah, this is easy. I'm gonna get it. Ah! Johnny, it's a new power, the bubble bowl. But wait, 
There's more. A golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank That's a shitty prize. Much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Wow! But that was Robot Sandy. If this will ever load, come on, please load. Please load. Please load. Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. I have a genuine question. Why would the robots willingly advertise that the chum bucket is their headquarters? SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Anyway, that is part... I don't know what part this is, but um, I would continue on here, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Uh, in the next part, we'll explore all of what the second area of Bikini Bottom has to offer us. Because we now have access to Sandy's house and Shady Shoals. And admittedly, the police department. But, anyway, with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And until next time... Is that a fucking dead ro That's a dead robot in Bikini Bottom! Anyway, Hey Man is out. Peace!